You'd think after playing Indiana Jones at 80 years old, Harrison Ford would put down his whip and look towards retirement. But the actor told CNN that he has no plans to leave acting. He said, I love to work and feel useful. It's my Jones. <laughs> Can you relate to wanting to feel useful? Like, does that make you yeah. uh, useful? Yeah, yeah. Yes. What do you guys think? I want to, first of all, coin that term. Like, it's my Jones. It's my Jones. <laughs> you know, I love that term. Yeah. Yeah, useful. That's a really interesting point. I guess, I mean, first of all, let's just talk about him. He, people want to continue to see him. And it would be yeah. hard if people didn't want to see his movies anymore because then he wouldn't have a choice and he'd have to retire. Yeah. So very nice for him that he gets that choice. But the idea of feeling useful, I think it depends on your philosophy towards your work or yeah. your career. Some people, their work is their passion. It's their life. It's their joy. And for other people, they clock in. They do mm -hmm. their eight hours, they clock out. Mm -hmm. um, and for other people, and, and I don't want to say, you know, we have this um, mythology, I think, sometimes in North American culture that your job should be your calling yeah. and that your job should fulfill you. And and I don't know that that's always true. I think for some people, their their nine to five might actually allow them to pursue their joys totally and passions mm -hmm. outside of work. So, you know, it's, it's that saying, do you live to work or do you work to live? I was recently in um, a cab or a car service and and there was a driver, and I want to say he was from India, because uh, he was saying he had just recently come here, and he had said, you know, this place isn't all that it's cracked up to be. And I said, oh, tell me more. And he said, you are all too obsessed with work here. <laughs> and I said, that's really interesting. He thought he would come here to be able to have a great opportunity for his young family that he brought over with him, but he says he has to work so much, he has no time for his family and other things that he wants to pursue here, and he's thinking of leaving the country. Wow. And I kind of sat back and I thought that is feeding into this idea of usefulness. You know, I love what I do. I have a, so many other things I want to do also. Mm -hmm. So yeah, if I could have the option to work but also pursue all of these things, that's kind of the, the goal. I think that's probably most people's goal is because there's this you want to serve, you want to give back, you want to have a purpose. Yeah. And so for me, it's, it is, what is that outside of just what I do? But don't get me wrong, I love what I do. Do you guys feel the same? I, I think I do, but I'm fine with feeling useless. <laughs> <laughs> do you know what I mean? Like, I think I'll be comfortable in that. Like, I don't know, I think for most people, the, the difference between someone like a Harrison Ford, you know, he doesn't have to, he, he can retire. Like, I think most of us don't know when we can retire. I don't know when I can, mm -hmm. but when I can, I'm fine with feeling what are you gonna absolutely do? useless. What are you going to do? What are what useless things are you going to do? Well, I'd love to garden. Okay. I'd love to have dinner parties. You know what, this, right? movie, you know what this is I would love to be domestic. It's not a job. Isn't no, that those funny? aren't jobs. But no, but here's I, yeah. what it is. Here's what's teasing it out, is that instead of being useful, like this idea of useful, what do we mean by that? You want to be useful for some other companies? I, I want to be useful for my loved that's ones. That's right. want to be useful mm. to yourself. Self. Yes. Like, I think that that's a whole radical way of, like, instead of just being feeling like you're useful to service other people, what happens if we see retirement as servicing ourselves yes. for the first time in our lives to actually service our own needs? It's good. Bring it yeah. on. Maybe because we're all so tired. Yeah. I think because we're all so tired. Yeah. I mean, I, I love what you're saying. Useful to yourself. Never mind your loved ones, Jess. Like, yes. just because <laughs> but I'll tell you, I'll tell you the reality of it. it. You know, and I think you're in the same position. A lot of us have careers. We love our careers, as you said. But if you are in a time of life as me and you have two aging parents who are ill, my usefulness is to them. I am taking them to appointments. Yeah. They are sick. They are in and out of the hospital. At a certain point, retirement to me looks like I do not want to be useful to anybody. Gotcha. I would like to be useless. Yeah. Yeah, like, you know, useful. I would like to be useful. The most useful thing I would like to do is for the municipal golf courses. Get my green feet, <laughs> and here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to tee off 18 times. And when someone asks me, what did you do today? I'll say nothing but tee off 18 times at a golf course. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. Um, Oh, those yeah. are the days. Those days. Look at us. All of us kind of dreaming of those Nobody retirement days. Nobody wants to be useful. Yeah. Uh, Thanks for watching. We've got lots more discussion and debates on everything from food and fashion to pop culture and current events. Don't forget to click like and subscribe.